Aquatic Horror Item Number SCP-1128 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Written descriptions or imagery of SCP-1128's appearance or videos of the entity breaching. See Addendum 1228-3. Found outside the Foundation are to be destroyed, and Class C amnestics are to be administered to anyone exposed to such information or showing signs of SCP-1128 contamination. A written description of the entity's appearance is to be kept at site blank for experimental purposes only and is not to be read by anyone other than D-Class used for testing. If exposed, staff are to report immediately for administration of Class C amnestics. Mobile Containment Force Kappa-12 has been assigned to intercept and redirect any and all water traffic that passes through their designated patrol area by any means necessary. See Addendum 1228-2. Description SCP-1128 is an entity that manifests as a massive aquatic predator to anyone given a full description of the being's appearance through either spoken slash written descriptions or visual depictions of the being. Persons infected by SCP-1128 will initially exhibit no abnormal behavior, though some cases show a general aversion to activities involving bodily immersion in water, such as bathing or swimming. Should subject ever be fully immersed in water, they will disappear completely under the surface of the water, regardless of the water's actual depth. In most cases, subjects will reappear moments later, in a panicked state, and frantically try to leave the water, while in some other cases the water will become polluted with blood and debris, confirmed to be the remains of the subject. Subjects that have reappeared intact claim that they were transported to a vast ocean, where they are pursued by SCP-1128. Interviews with these individuals carry some risk of further SCP-1128 contamination, as descriptions of the being's appearance trigger further infections. SCP-1128 infection can be treated with Class C amnestics, as it appears memory of the entity or descriptions of it are required for its anomalous properties to take effect. Addendum 1128-1 Testing with infected D-Class have shown that wireless communication devices function normally when used by submerged subjects affected by SCP-1128. See Interview 1128-blank for details. Addendum 1128-2 Tracking devices affixed to D-Class used in SCP-1128 experiments reveal that submerged subjects are transported to an area within the blank ocean, not far from the coast of Redacted. Further investigation of these coordinates revealed the area to be data expunged. Mobile Containment Force Kappa-12, Sea Devils, has been assigned to keep unauthorized seafaring vessels out of this area at all costs. Note, that's where we've been sending those D-Class? How does a short-range wireless communicator get such a clear signal from that far away? Dr. S. Addendum 1128-3, tests involving D-1732 who had been used for repeated SCP-1128 testing without administration of amnestics, was shown to be able to encounter the entity in bodies of water normally insufficient for bodily immersion. This effect became more drastic over time, with D-1732 developing progressively stronger hydrophobic tendencies, claiming to see SCP-1128 from outside almost any body of water encountered by the subject. On blank, 2000 blank, blank days after initial exposure, D-1732 was violently pulled into a glass of water by Redacted. No remains were recovered from the incident. Staff witnessing the event were found to be infected by SCP-1128 and administered Class C amnestics. Containment procedures were then updated to include videos and descriptions of this event, and testing involving extended infection of D-Class was terminated. <laughs>